try and pick up from where we were. So I think I was saying that uh, Philip had uh, become lord over Thessaly, and so Automachus, who is the uh, Phoetian, one of the generals uh, from Phoetia, Phoetia, I should say, he uh, uh, headed back to provide support uh, based on uh, Philip's march uh, through Thessaly. And uh, this little interaction here ended up with the death of Onomarchus and uh, a lot of the force uh, being thrust into the sea. Uh, there's some uh, controversy as to whether Onomarchus was actually crucified or whether he drowned and then was crucified. Uh, so Philip wanted to make an example of him with the Phoetians and, the, and uh, really uh, set the tone, I guess. Uh, that uh, action actually quickly led to the uh, capitulation of some other uh, towns and cities in the area. So the, the second, uh, not the second, the third sacred war, even reading several different, um, several different texts and you know, wiki notes and things like that. It's a little bit of a confusing mishmash where pretty much everyone's trying to bribe everyone else. And uh, as soon as they've finished doing their bribes, they immediately run off and uh, backstab that uh, that country or that town or that state or that city state and uh, give, them, uh, give them a good ass whipping. And I think Philip played that game fairly well. Uh, he certainly didn't tolerate any uh, misbehavior by from allies. He was not averse to uh, raising the odd town here or there. Uh, from a force perspective, you may note that uh, there's some Libyans here and some other different units. Really what I'm trying to do here is avoid punching my phalanx uh, 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 units because I, I don't have war elephant either. And, uh, or I shouldn't say I, say I don't have war elephant. And I really need units from both. And uh, so these uh, these guys here and uh, the Libyans are stand-ins for the units that are in phalanx. Uh, they're the same rating, same movement rate, same TQ, same size. So they'll work for the, the for the battle. I think somewhere along the way, I'm missing uh, a handful of counters out of this one copy of Alexander, the Great Battles of Alexander. I've actually got another unpunched set of counters and a second punch, uh, set of punched counters for Alexander. So I've had to borrow, uh, had to borrow the artillery uh, for this particular battle out of that set. I'll make sure I put them back and we only have, uh, so I have one complete set that's really not very, have been played with very much compared to this. So um, this, this guy's uh, starting to show his age. Anyway, that's uh, a quick summary. Uh, I think now on the map we're using Pallium again, uh, just because the chap who uh, Zelko who put this put this together back in 2000 uh, designed all these scenarios and updated them based on his research for OOBs, and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to to do these battles and uh, and use his format, uh, particularly since they're all linked in a campaign. So if I start changing things, then uh, there's ripple effects going through. So that terrain is accurate there, excluding the rocky terrain in the back. Uh, but the city and the river and uh, any rocky terrain are excluded, but the hills and trees and everything else are on are considered to be part of the terrain for this particular battle. And then after this, we'll move to the Battle of Thessaly.